Okay, so tell them to get out and go to this one. Hey, Tia Marie. <laughs> Did you go to the other one? I cannot get in. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Sharice. Hey, Mom of Three. Ashley. Welcome, guys. Did I just pop into the one you guys were in? Or did y'all have to get out and go to the new one? Hey, Vaisha. <laughs> hey, Sinu. Yes, I did. I thought this one picked up, so I grabbed it. Yeah, for some reason, like I set it up, and I guess you guys were able to go in, and it didn't even give me the option. I couldn't even find it anymore. So, so anyways, this is my first live, so y'all have to forgive me. I'm a nervous wreck. So what I did is I wrote down some questions, and I figured we would just shoot the shit together and have some fun. And I put together... Um, a few prizes and so we'll do four giveaways today so i don't know if y'all were expecting just one but we're gonna go for four so i'm gonna give some more people time to come on here so chat amongst yourselves if you are not subscribed to each other show each other some love okay turn the volume down on that hey sharice I love talking to Sharice. Y'all should definitely check her out. I love her and her daughter. Is Dawn on here as well? Hey, babe. Oh, my boyfriend's on here. Dawn is, if y'all see Dawn, she's my day one. She's been with me since day one. I love her. She leaves the sweetest comments in the world. Okay, wait, I need, <laughs> I need this so I can read. Okay, so who's ready for a giveaway? Are y'all excited? Because the way I did the way I did the prizes was I tried to get you guys stuff. Because I noticed a lot of people give away stuff they don't want anymore, or they get in subscriptions. So instead, I tried to buy you guys stuff that I would want and gear it towards things that I like. So as y'all know, I kind of like color and shiny, and so I hope it's not too dramatic for you, but. We're gonna make you jazzy today, sisters. And um, let me see, I gotta figure out the moderator thing. So are you on, Desiree? Who Are you on? My daughter's literally watching Jeffree Star right now. That's how she does me. That's James Charles. Oh, sorry, James Charles. Well, he had Jeffree Star in there. I need no, you to go on it. Jeffree Star, that's oh, I thought it was, you. I thought it was him with the wind. Okay, go in the chat, say hi. And then I need to give you a wrench. She's terrible. No support. I tell you, these kids. Okay, we're walking outside. Okay, Anastasia, you're on, right? Yeah, we need to watch. Okay, so I need you to say something, Anastasia, so I can make you a moderator. I'm already one. Oh, wait, or say something so I can see. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. You just have to click on my name, it says. I know, but you haven't said anything. Yeah, I did, I said that. I still don't see you. Go. Okay, Vaisha, I'm clicking on you. My daughter will be. Desiree, I'm clicking on you. And I'm going to pick one of my OG YouTubers, too. Right here, bam. Um, let me see. All right, and so my nickname for the people with the wrench. I'm already a moderator, You're a moderator? No, okay. Um, so if you have a wrench, you are now the winch with the wrench. So I like that. Okay, so are you guys ready? I'm gonna ask you guys some questions. I'm gonna tell you my answer and I wanna see your answer as well. Cause I want to get to know you guys too. Hey, Missy. All right. So we're going to start off simple. They're, they're all pretty simple. I'm going to hold this guy up so I can read and I don't have to squint. Okay. So my first question is, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is red, but I love teal too. So. 
pink, purple, ooh, black, Dawn? Okay, see you, girl, are you goth? Pink, green and purple, purple, blue, purple, lots of purple, pink and black. Okay, where's on here, too? Let me turn this down. Red, maroon, yes, girl. Like, my favorite makeup to use is red. Like, I love shades of red. And then I had to wear red today. My shirt says dog mom. Okay, so that was easy, right? Nobody got hurt. Not goth, but love my black. Yeah, black, black is nice. I love decorating with black. Black is so cool. Classy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The next one's another easy one. How many kids do you have? So me, I physically brought two into this world. However, I have three stepchildren, so five total, and I now have a grandchild. You have five, Sharice? Holy cow, I've only seen the one. Three boys, nice, okay. One, she is 19, okay, six. Six? Gosh, I thought I had it rough. One cat, nice. <laughs> One teenager. We got, um, now we have two 20-year-olds, a 17-year-old who's over here ignoring me with James Charles, how dare her, um, a 13-year-old and a 7-year-old. So the oldest three are girls, can you imagine? And the youngest two are boys, four stepchildren. Hey, mom. Four stepchildren is my mom. Two boys, three girls. Wow, Sharice. Is it the same order as me? Three girls oh, at the top, two boys at the bottom. He rocks, but she should be watching my live, Dawn. How dare her? Okay. Next question. What is your favorite type of pizza? Mine is just sausage all day. I love sausage pizza. Pineapple, pineapple is good, yeah. Pineapple with sausage is good. Cheese, bacon, sausage. Oh, and if I don't get sausage, I love spinach pizza. That's the other one. Any veggie pizza, yep, kitty. My uh, Florida girl, kitty. Hamburger, mushroom with sausage. Hey, no drama. Supreme, Philly steak and cheese, anything, huh? See, I don't like supreme pizza. Like, if you put, like, peppers, onions, anything like that, it's, like, disgusting. What advice just... Oh, probably anchovies. When we first that moved... I like to, sardines and pineapple. My stepdaughter is disgusting. Sardines and pineapple. When we first moved here, she got, like, sardines on a pizza one night. And we had to, like... We had just like moved to the base. And so we drove to the base with the pizza in the car and the whole way her dad was like gagging. <laughs> he was gagging, he couldn't take it. it was nasty. I can't stand seafood anyway, so the smell of it's disgusting. Joe Supreme is the best. Barbecue chicken pizza. Ooh, that sounds good. Where do you get that from? The barbecue chicken pizza. Anywhere or a certain place? I know CeCe's has good barbecue pizza if y'all ever eat CeCe's. Papa John's. I'm going to have to try it. That sounds really good. Barbecue chicken pizza. Mm-hmm. Barbecue. Remember, thumbs up, girls. Thank you, Janet. How do you even leave a like? Okay, I love Papa John's. Buffalo chicken, that sounds good too. You've never had CeCe's, Kitty? Oh my God. You like go in and I think you pay like $5.99 for the buffet, but they have the best spinach pizza. And I mean, all their pizza's good, but my favorite is spinach and then they have a barbecue pizza that's really good. So, Pizza Hut is king of all pizza chains. I like Marco's. If you have a Marco's where you live, I like Marco's a lot. And then we have like a real cheap one, kind of like a Little Caesars, but it's called Hungry Howie's. And I love it. So let me know if y'all have had Hungry Howie's because I like that a lot. Yes, white sauce pasta. Where it? Uh, CeCe's Dawn? 
At Cece's, I'll get their pasta and I mix the marinara and the Alfredo sauce together because I'm a rebel. It's, re <laughs> it's really good. Okay, all right. Um, yep. Do you do? Do you mix it, Dawn? It's so good. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, next. What is your favorite movie genre? Mine. I am a horror buff. I love scary movies, and mostly like the paranormal, like. If you're running around just stabbing people and blood's going everywhere, I could care less about that. Like, I want you to freak me out to where when I go to bed at night, I'm scared a ghost is going to drag me by my toes across the room. So, that that is like, uh, I love them. And I would say romantic comedy, but I'm not into, like, action. Like, I'll watch action, but it's not my thing. Okay, so some paranormal sci-fi. Oh, my boyfriend, he loves sci-fi. Anything but horror, Jamie? You're missing out. My daughter loves horror movies. Ever since, my mom will tell you, she's on here. Ever since I was a little kid, like, I've always loved scary movies. Like, and, like, Jaws, forget it. I watch Jaws all the time when I was little. And now I'm terrified of sharks because of it, so... I kind of screwed, <laughs> screwed myself at the same time. Okay, how many questions did I do? That's favorite color, how many kids, favorite type of pizza, favorite movie genre. Okay, who's ready for a giveaway? That's all of them? No, one of my questions, I'm gonna split it up. Mm. Who's ready to do a giveaway? We're gonna do giveaway number one. I want to know who's going to win. Who do y'all think is going to win? I'm going to randomly say who I think because I'm a psychic tonight. Um, let's see. How about Jaynet? I'm, I'm going to pick Jaynet. I think Jaynet might win, but we'll see. We'll see who's going to win. Okay. Uh, my daughter's got the red hair. This is her over here living her best life watching James Charles. No, I'm not. <laughs> But um, her hair is like a fire engine red right now. So I decided for this live, I was going to call her Vanna Red. So Vanna Red, would you please go get package number one? Do I just pick one? Yeah, pick any one. Okay. Let's give Vanna, Ran Vanna Red a round of applause, everyone. I don't see any clapping hands yet, guys. I never win either. Don't feel bad. Okay, they're all clapping for you, Vanna. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so as you can see, this is what having boys is all about. So I had them each write a number down and put them <coughs> in the package and I said fold it up. Fold meant crumple it into a ball and then undo it and fold it. So this is what I ended up with. So, I'm going to do the Price is Right version where you guys are going to pick a number between 1 and 100. And if you go over, then sorry, you don't win. But the person closest to the number who doesn't go over wins. And if you see that you repeated somebody's number, please pick again. You only get one guess. But what? Oh, those are the paper. Write down. Oh, okay. Anyway, so does anybody have any questions? She kind of interrupted me. Oh, you're going to win, Mom? <laughs> oh, y'all already picking? I didn't even say go. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. So pay attention to what everybody picks, okay? Because if you end up picking, like, after somebody, you pick the same number, whoever was first, that they're the one that gets it, okay? So ready, set, Go. Between one and a hundred. And if you notice, I didn't show you what you're gonna win because if you watch my channel, I love surprises. So I'm gonna make you guys be surprised after you win.
Alright, we're going to do 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 Yeah, it's terrible. I didn't hear you say go, but just put a number in. Can I guess? Babe, do you want makeup? I mean, <laughs> you can guess for fun, but if you win, I mean, you could probably, yeah. We'll let him guess, and if he wins, he gets to pick somebody in the group. I think that's fair. He doesn't know anybody. He just can't pick one of the kids. I told the kids they're not allowed to play, so. I keep choosing numbers people have. I know. Girl, the same problem when I do these giveaways. I mean, not the giveaways, but when I go to the giveaways. Anastasia, you can't play. <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna pick somebody if you win, Anastasia? <laughs> See, Vaish is getting on to her. Okay, is everybody ready? Wait, I'm not done yet. What are you doing? Writing. Oh she you uh, don't have to write everybody's numbers? Are you serious? <laughs> Desiree's writing all y'all's numbers, guys. Okay. So I'm going to open it up. Are y'all ready? Okay. Stop. Wait. Everybody stop writing. No more numbers. Okay, here we go. The number is in my crumpled paper, 57. Okay, so I think it's Kitty because she guessed 56. Did anybody guess the number 50? Oh, wait, but what? Alice guessed 58. If you go over, you don't get it. It's whoever's the closest. Oh, wait. Without Taylor going. guessed 57. He did? Yeah. When did you say stop? Taylor got 57. All right, Taylor. Good job. You want to see what you won? No, Vesha cheated. She you excited, didn't. Taylor? Everybody give Taylor a round of applause. Why do you my look? Okay. Here we go, Taylor. This is your bag. So. Got a cute pair of lashes. Again, this is all stuff that I would want, so Keep that in mind. So a cute pair of little wispy lashes. Then I got you my favorite pair of lashes, which I just talked about in my video last night. So the Ardell Wispies. Aren't those gorgeous? Y'all like those lashes? I have them on every video. I love them. Okay. What else do we have? I can't let y'all get away without getting a face mask. So here's a nice sheet mask, Taylor. Oh, is that another one? There's another sheet mask. Okay. What else do we have in here? A nice lip gloss because Gina loves her lip gloss. You probably can't tell. I've been drinking, but I love my lip glosses and I thought this was a really pretty color. Y'all like this color? Then I thought this guy was adorable. Is this not cute? So you got your handheld mirror and then the baby handheld mirror, so. Pico, when you come back here. And, they, and I bought the last one, so I couldn't even get one for myself. I was kind of bummed, but I thought that was so cute. All right, and then here's the last thing in here. Drum roll, please. Okay, so we got some Juvia's Place. This is a Nubian palette. Still in its bubble wrap. And I am obsessed with Juvia's Place. I own every single palette. So I wanted you guys to get some of that love as well. Tell me that's not stunning. 
They have the best formula. Oh my God. I love Juvia's place. So there you go. Congratulations, Taylor. Hope you love it. And that is gift number one, ladies and gentlemen. What do y'all think? Thank you, Jamie. Taylor, you're going to look so pretty with this on, I swear. You should uh, come over and let me do a look on you. Taylor lives in St. Pete, so no excuses. Do y'all want me to do a look on Taylor? Give me a thumbs up, and I'll do it as a video. Y'all give me a thumbs up if y'all want me to do a look on Taylor with his new makeup. <laughs> All right, Taylor, it's official. You wanted to play, you're gonna be in the video. <laughs> okay. So that's gift number one. We're gonna move on to some more questions. Can I have my handy dandy notebook? Guys, if y'all don't have a notebook that you keep close by to write down all your little crazy thoughts like me, you need to get one. Yeah, Taylor, it's going down. I'm gonna give you a crazy look too. Okay, where were we at? Favorite movie genre, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the next one. Are y'all ready to move on to questions? Are y'all having fun? That's good, Janet. You having fun, Desiree? Yeah. That's good. She's sitting right next to me. Okay, good. I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Next question. What is your favorite animal? And I've told y'all my favorite animal in my videos, but I'll tell you again. I am... Hey, Miranda! Um, my favorite animal is bears i'm obsessed with bears any kind of bear i don't care i just love bears wolf huh sharice how did you get into wolves dolphins cute dogs okay elephant well i think people like elephants because like wisdom right they like the wise i have a friend that likes elephants too can't believe you're doing so well. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Black bears, wait, I didn't see it. Black bears live on my property. Kitty, I would, I've told people this in, in the past. If I came across a bear, I'd, I'd be dead right now because I'm so, <laughs> I'm so obsessed with them. I'd try to make friends. Like, oh, come here, bear, you must be here to, cuddle or give me a, <coughs> a bear hug and then I'd be mauled and die so anyway so but yeah that that's my dream is to like go to one of these people that like raise a bear and whatever teach it to do tricks so I can at, at least meet a bear for once in my life and get to touch it and be friends so that is so cool though wolf I've never had anybody tell me their favorite animal is a wolf so pretty cool have y'all ever done one of those quizzes that's like what is your spirit animal they have pervy face <laughs> like a pervert pervy face pandas look friendly wolves are cool yeah wolves are like badasses really pandas are cute yeah they are i look but i'm like my favorite oh slots you know Jeffree Star is obsessed with sloths? Did you know that in a drama? <clears throat> Deer on our land. Bull Mastiff got out. Aww. I miss Deer. I never really see them anymore since we moved to Florida. But when I lived in Texas, forget it. Like, if you drove at night or in the evenings, like, you just had to watch out and not hit them. Sea turtles. That's cute. There's a place called Wolf Hollow. You can pat them. 
and learn so much. Oh, that's cool. Rats. Yeah, my uh, my daughter Vaisha just bought rats, so she bought two rats as pets. Sloths also, but wolves are my favorite. That's cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. I'm learning so much from you guys. Really, Edith, where are you from? I'm in the, I don't live in Tampa, I live outside of Tampa. Bearded dragons. Cool. You were? Yeah, she called me on FaceTime and wanted me to see her rats today. You can't hear me? I'm so scared of my and rat. Can you guys hear me? Hey, Janet. Y'all can hear me? Dawn, can you hear me now? I feel like those commercials. Can you hear me now? Good. Okay. All right, so we're moving on. We're just asking questions right now, Janet. <coughs> okay. What's one makeup product you cannot live without? It was on my end. Oh, okay, Don. I never know because a lot of these times people's lives go wonky and then it freezes and your face looks distorted and crazy. So I never know. Eyeliner, mascara. But is there a certain like brand? Is there a certain one you can't live without? Because mine, I wrote it down because I can never think of the name. It's Lancome Monsieur, Monsieur, however you say it, big. That is my favorite mascara. I, it's, ugh, it's amazing. And I don't have any on today. I just threw lashes on. I was like in a hurry. I didn't want to be late. Anastasia Brow Gel. Anastasia Brow. I'm so used to saying Anastasia because my daughter. Soy Face Wash. Okay. Goats? What are you talking about, Mom? Aquafina Lip Balm. Eyeshadow. Is there a brand, Carrie? Ooh, or first saw the Unicorn Essence. Never even heard of that. Oh, check it out. BH Zodiac, NYX, Soft Satin, ha ha ha, goats. <laughs> I don't have a favorite mascara. What is my mom talking about? Mom, what are you talking about, goats? Was that your favorite animal? My mom wears hearing aids, so there's no telling. She might have thought I said something. Something completely different. Maybe her favorite animal, Stella. I don't know. Okay, let's see, what, what number am I on now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the next one. What is your dream vacation? So if you could go anywhere, had the, the bunny for it, whatever, it could take whoever you wanted to take, what is your dream vacation? Where would you go? Tuscany, Bora Bora, Hawaii, Italy, Ireland, Hawaii, Tahiti, nice. England, Paris, Italy, Egypt, ooh, Egypt, Tina. Vegas, Spain, Hawaii, New Zealand, Scotland or Ireland. Okay, so mine would be Italy and that's just the Bahamas. Okay, nice. Is it, I'm guessing Tamara or Tamara? Wherever you're at, oh, that's sweet. Dubai would be one of mine. So I'm same on that, but the fat kid in me says Italy because I just, oh, I just want to go there and eat. Mine too, you got it right. Which one? Ta I said two, I said Tamara or Tamara. I've seen it both ways. Rome, Greece, or Italy. Yeah, so what's wrong with Jamaica? Ooh, Jamaica would be nice. Thanks for burping, Desiree. Just because I love Tennessee. Ooh, Tennessee is amazing. Have y'all ever been to Tennessee? Like if you've never been, go. Like <coughs> we went, I think it was, what was it last year? 
We evacuated for the hurricane and. No. She's always trying to leave. No, I'm going to stay on the thing. Is it just okay if I get No, because I'm about to do the next one. Okay, so if you ever go to Tennessee, there's a town called, I think it's Gatlinburg. There's Gatlinburg, and what was the other one called? They're right there together, but oh my God, you'll have the best time ever. So we evacuated for the hurricane and ended up making a vacation out of it. It was so good. And then, yeah, they're talking about Mama's. There was a restaurant called, I think it was Mama's House. It's the best, like, country cooking. They, like, you order, like, your sides and your main dishes. And it's, like, it's meant to be, like, um, sitting at home and you pass the dishes around. So if you say mashed potatoes, green beans, like, it comes in a big bowl and you pass to everybody. So, I don't know. It's really cool. Family style, yep. It's really nice, and it's delicious, too. We all left there like, oh, my God, it's time to look. Pigeon Forge. There you go. That was it, right? Pigeon. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Sorry, I got a new phone. I had to take. Come back. Welcome back, babe. I went to Gatlinburg last year. It's so fun, and they have, like, all those, like, random, like, it's kind of like theme parks. We went to the Smoky Mountains two years ago. I love it there. Yep, honeymoon there. Yeah, I I think one day I'm gonna I'm gonna live there eventually. Like when I'm just done with working, I want to live my best life. I'm gonna go there. I haven't gone to Dollywood yet. You went? Very small town, about thirty minutes from. Okay, Tina. Let's see, Smoky Mountains. Yeah. Really? Hollywood. I just go check out the like town and like all the amazing things. Yeah, let's go. Calm down. I, I, <laughs> we stopped and there was like the mechanical bull. So I got to record the family. I didn't get my fat ass on it, but I, rec I record everybody and living their best life on the bull. And um, what else did we do? We did those. I forget what they're called, like, but they're the big plastic balls that are see-through and they put water in there and they like push you down a hill. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Those are so fun. I got in one with two of my kids. We can get a cabin. Yep, those are... God, that would be the best life. I've always wanted to go to Dollywood. Yeah. We should just do like a whole YouTuber convention. <laughs> a small YouTuber convention. It would be fun. You gonna come, Mom? Are we gonna talk about goats? <laughs> spheres, okay. Yeah, the spheres. Those are fun. They are so fun. You're lagging too? Okay, so I'm gonna move on. Let's see, where number are we on? What's your dream vacation? Okay, I'm gonna ask this question and then we'll move on to the next giveaway. Who is your celebrity crush? I am so curious because you ladies are all so different. I'm claustrophobic too. I received a face on. <laughs> Brad Pitt, okay, Keanu. Gerard Butler, nice. Patrick, y'all will never guess mine. Ooh, The Rock. Will Smith, okay, Desiree, he's too old for you, Miss Thing. <laughs> this is my favorite. You're still with Little Wayne, Anastasia. Oprah, yeah, my boyfriend's in love with Oprah. Drake's, my daughter, they both have been in love with the same person. Matthew Gray, Jason Momoa, Little, okay. Ooh, not Oprah. Jason Lamar. Okay, so mine, Charlie Hunnam, John Travolta. Wait, don't go yet. Okay, The Rock go again. Away. Jason Lamar. LL Cool J, nice. Okay, do you like LL Cool J now or LL Cool J when he was younger or both? Which one do you prefer? Poop. Okay. 
Ooh, Vin Diesel. Yes. Yes, ma'am, Sharif. I just realized I don't have one. It could be a girl crush, too. Matthew McConaughey. Okay, nice. A lot of people like him all the time. I feel no drama is in here, dream. Oh, and Vin Diesel. Young and old, yep. Idris Elba. A lot of people like him. I'm just, I just feel like he gives me daddy vibes. Oh, my goodness. Cool J. Man, so many. Patrick Dempsey. Oh, Channing Tatum, yes. He's a dream. Paul Walker, yes, he's beautiful. I, he just doesn't do it for me, guys. What well, girl crushes? Your girl crush is Blake Lively. My girl crush used to be Michelle Rodriguez, but I grew out of it. Art Jenkins, Cameron Diaz, Blake Lively. I don't even know how to say that. Joe Manj, yeah. Ariana Grande, Patrick Swayze. I've seen all Patrick Swayze's movies, but I felt. George Clooney, excuse you. Oh yeah, George Clooney's beautiful. Oh, Adele, I like that. Drew Barrymore, she's so cute. Okay, my, I never told you my mind for the female would be Michelle Rodriguez, but I'm kind of over it. Girl question for Lopez, Beyonce, yeah. Oh, Adele, another Adele. Okay, for the male, it's been the same for so long. I've been in love and obsessed with Nelly. Call me crazy, call me crazy, doesn't matter. I've been in love with Nelly forever since the band-aids on his cheeks. I don't know, it's just, he does things to me. Am I crazy or do y'all think Nelly is beautiful? I just think, I just think, ugh, gorgeous. Nelly, yeah. See, somebody agrees with me. I just think he is just the most beautiful thing. Yes, it is getting high in the <laughs> Eek, no. See, I don't believe about this. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm not going to doubt people. I shouldn't say that. Nelly is fine. My daughter's obsessed with Wesley Snipes. Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, she's so pretty. I love her. The video of him, he looked good. Hey, babe. I'm so glad you made it, Southern Mom. I'm always watching you on live, girl. How interesting. It's weird to see your little face like that. Okay. All right. So we're going to move to the next giveaway. Are you guys ready? If you are, give me thumbs up. Vanna Red. Everybody, let's do a round of applause for Vanna Red as she gets the next package. She is so not enthusiastic. If you've ever had a teenage daughter, you understand what I'm talking about. Hey, Confidence. You said, I'm sorry, girl, but at least it's over. Okay. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. I got this from you, Southern Mom, so a shout out to you for the prices right way. Um, same thing. I'm not going to show you what it is until you win because you get to be surprised just like I love being surprised with my subscription boxes. So don't put a number until I tell you to go. So it's going to be one between one and a hundred. Is everybody ready? Hey, Mary Jane. So we're about to pick our number. Keep in mind, if you go over, then you don't win. It's whoever gets the closest to the number without going over. And if you see that somebody else, if you pick the number and then somebody picks it after you, it's whoever picked it first that gets the number. So you have to pick something else if you picked it after them. I'm probably saying that more complicated than it should be. So I apologize, but... Okay, ready? Cherise, wait. One, two, three, go. Oh, Taylor, you can't guess this time. I'm sorry, because you already won one. Hmm. 
I don't know what the number is yet either, so. <laughs> if y'all are looking at my face to see, like, oh, was I close? No clue. That's cute, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, oh, you guys only get one guess. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Well, you picked them, Vesa. You picked them, girl. <laughs> okay, so for those of you that are picture, uh, hopefully you guys are all done. But um, why can't I see you, Natoma? Does she pick a number? Okay, so everybody scroll back through the comments. Make sure whatever number you pick wasn't previously picked by somebody else. If it was, delete that number and pick a new one. Okay, babe, I just want to make sure. I wonder why she said she couldn't see you. I can't see anybody named Natoma either. It's confident. Okay, is everybody ready? Give me thumbs up if you're ready. You don't see anatomy? Natoma. No, she's under a different name. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close the number system now so nobody else vote. And we're going to see who wins. This is the number. What is it? So the number is 34. Did anybody guess the number 34? Carrie. Who? Carrie Racy. Who? Carrie Racy. Carrie Racy? Did you that's guess just the first one I saw, but that's 34, yeah. That's crazy you guys are guessing the exact number tonight. Yeah. Are you still here, Carrie? Let me see if I, do I see you? Oh, there you are. Well, there you go, girl. Everybody give Carrie a round of applause. Oh, no drama. See, I have the same look, girl. I'm always like so close, but no cigar. Good job, Carrie. Okay, are you ready to see what you're getting, Carrie? Where's she at? <laughs> All right. So, once again, I can't let you get away without getting some of these handy dandy face masks. Because everybody has to feel beautiful and luxurious. I again wanted you to have some lashes to feel like a sexy vixen and my favorite pair okay you miss thing are getting this beautiful i would call this like a bubblegum pink cruelty free as you see the little rabbit but Bubblegum pink lip gloss. I thought this was gorgeous. I love this pit. I mean picture. I love this color. I hope you do too, but I think it's stunning. Why does my mom get? She must really be lagging. Who? Grandma. <laughs> she just guessed her number. Okay. Was it? You also or again, in a handy dandy mirror so you can stare at yourself. And then the little mini version that you can keep in your purse or at your desk or whatever the case is. I love these. I'm jealous of these guys. You love my mom? <laughs> She's got to be lagging. I don't know what's going on. She lives in a, a small, t or I don't want to say small town. I guess it's a big town in Texas. So the internet's probably slow, guys. All right, are you ready for your eyeshadow palette, Carrie? 
Okay, girl. I don't know if you're ready for this one. Yes, ma'am. Let's go Juvia's place. She probably needs to... Yeah, y'all... Anastasia, can you call her and tell her? Because she's... She's probably not even going to realize we, you said that for another 20 minutes. Okay, so this is a Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. Again, and it's bubble wrap. Ugh, this one is so gorge. Guys. And I know some of you ladies out there are terrified of color. So there's, you know, we got a little bit of, I guess you could say brown, but ugh, this, this palette is everything to me. I think it's so pretty. So I hope you love it, Carrie, because I think it's bomb. This palette just makes me happy looking at it. And of course I have one too, so. Tell me what you think, Carrie. Is it your is it your speed, or you gonna have to learn to love it, or what? Oh yes, I know. I'm telling you, girl, that Juvia's place is where it's at. Cause I mean, it's just like their prices are good. The colors are beautiful. They blend like so amazing. The pigment is really good. Like, I don't know, there's nothing. Oh, you do love it, I'm so glad. They're gorgeous. So, yeah, I first found them at, I think it was Ulta. And I just walked in and was like, one of those, one of those, one of those, and then I saved up and then later just kept adding to the collection. I even use their blush now. Like, I don't know, they're amazing. I used mine for the first time today, yeah. They're really good. So, I hope you like your giveaway, girl. And I, like I said, I just love that pink. That is so fun. Your giveaways are bomb. Thank you. I hope so. I hope y'all like them. I want them to be stuff you guys would like. Because, like, I don't know. I, I like fun stuff. Juvia's blush is so good. Yeah. But the one I use is uh, Serafina. And also the eyeshadow I used today. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to it. But this was actually... It's it's not Juvia's place. It's this company, Pinky Rose. I did a video kind of showing them off. But this is... I just... I got eyeshadow everywhere. But this is that palette. I think their palettes are. Thank you. You did great picking out these prizes. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's get to more, some more questions because I, I like learning about all you guys. Yes, Jeannie, your giveaway is bomb. Thank you, babe. You guys are so sweet. Y'all don't know know how nervous I was before this live. This is like public speaking for me. Okay. <clears throat> we did celebrity crush. Oh, all right. Here we go. Who is your favorite YouTuber? So I don't know if y'all have ever heard of my um, favorite YouTuber, but his name is Rich Lux. So if you've never watched him, he is freaking hilarious. He does, um, I guess you could say he's like a beauty channel, but like he's comedy, does like the drama and, you know, cracks jokes. So he's like my speed, just Dania, Lemonade Mom. I've never heard of Lemonade Mom. You know who Rich Lux is? I love Rich Lux. My favorite, Alexandria and I, Shane Dawson. I just watched Shane Dawson for the first time last week and was crying. Um, during the Jeffree Star series he did, it was so good. You watched it finally? Yes, I was crying. Jeffree amazing. Star is amazing. I love Jeffree Star for letting me know I needed clothes and reopen. <laughs> yeah, Mom, we were like, I said, what? what is your favorite makeup you can't live without? And you said goats. And we were all like, what? <laughs> what? Jeffree and Shane, yeah. You guys have to check out Rich Lex. Like, hilarious. 
And then there's another YouTuber who's actually a drag queen. I'm obsessed with him. His name is Luscious Massacre. And he, to me, is like, he was born to do makeup. He's just, oh my God. Like how people did the Bratz Challenge. Like, he slayed it. He made everybody else look like, why did y'all even bother? I really, you are a sweetie pie. Thank you, Janet. I have to, Lemonade Mom, I gotta check that out. Love, 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 Shane Dawson. Yeah, and I started, um, after Shane Dawson, I started watching his um, boyfriend, was it, is it Ryland or something like that? Yeah, I like him too. I live on YouTube, guys. Like, when I'm not at work, I'm like, YouTube puts me to sleep at night. Like, I just love YouTube. So whenever you guys are like, oh, sub for sub or follow me back, like, I actually really watch you guys. Nikki Tutorials, yeah, she's great. I actually... I prefer Nikki, huh? Oh, I prefer Nikki tutorials during like the Halloween times because I'm like, it's probably because I like horror and all that, but Nikki tutorials like slays Halloween looks. Tati, yeah, Tati is amazing. And I used to watch James Charles a lot. Oh, the grandson's tripping. Nicole Guerrero. Okay, YouTube is taking over my life. Same, same. But we could be doing worse things with our lives, you know? Show that baby. Okay, here he is. Bring him over, Desiree. <laughs> you say hi? Oh, I'm just throwing stuff. He wants to be on YouTube so bad. He just stares at the camera. Hey. <laughs> so that's Malachi, guys. He was actually born Christmas Day. So he's a Christmas baby. And then this one, Desiree, she was born the day after Christmas. And funny story, my dad is the day before Christmas. And his dad is the day after Christmas. So it's, for some reason, babies in my family just want to come out during Christmas. And my mom is the day before Halloween. So I think my mom and dad should have known they weren't meant to be. <laughs> day before Halloween, day before Christmas. So, okay, babe. All right, here's his pasty. Okay, where were we at? Favorite YouTuber. Okay. All right, I thought this one would be fun because we're all a little, um, what would I say, experienced in life. Okay, Mary Jane. Um, let's see. What do you want to be when you grow up? And I just think it's a fun question because when you ask a kid this, they're always going to pick a firefighter, a movie star, or whatever. I want to know what the adult you wants to be when they grow up, when they get older. Asleep, a kid, nice. A no drama makeup mom. Yes, ma'am. A grandma. Yes. Yeah, soon, right? A good person. Let's, yeah. I want to be a kid, yeah. A YouTuber with lots of cats. <laughs> You're on your way, girl. Hey, a YouTuber with the confidence. Yep, June 26th. I knew it was soon. And then you can have a crying and all that good stuff. I just want it to be happy. Very true. A strong woman to bring people to Jesus. Very good. Pet rescuer, crime scene photographer, or marine biologist. Nice. Okay, what do I want to be when I grow up? Man, I don't know. I love my life as it is. That's a great. That's a great answer, actually. Tia Marie. Yes, Janet. Amen, Janet. Okay, let's see. Nurse, I stayed halfway. Wish I could finish. Hey, it's never too late. I got my degree. I got my bachelor's, okay. and I finished. I want to say. A year and a half ago so it's never too late i'm 38 i'll be th 39 this year i just want to show women that they can follow their heart animal rescue 
I know mom with three potted jackets. Amen. A good example for my children. You already are, mom. That's awesome. Okay, what do I want to be when I grow up? Who? Me. Um. Oh, I didn't even get to say mine. Oh. Sorry, Desiree wants to say hers. <laughs> yeah, Melody's 17 years. That's awesome. Shit. I want to do what my mom used to do. Oh, really? Finance, yeah. Oh, finance? Well, in the Air Force, yeah. Or go work for a bank. Okay, when I grow up... Oh, actually, I want to be a psychologist to like, a counselor, too. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so when I grow <laughs> up, mine's just going to sound cheesy uh, or dumb. When I grow up, I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> um, so my job, it didn't suck in the beginning, but it sucks now. Like, I, I go to work, and I'm like, I hate all of you people. I don't really hate them, but it feels like it, you know, when you get there before you have coffee. And then each and every person that comes up is like, Gina, you're here. I need this, this, and this. And I'm like, I hate you. I hate, I hate everything about you right now. So anyway, I want to get to a point where I don't have to do that anymore. And I can just go back to liking everybody. So, um, yeah, maybe when I grow up, I just want to be in Tennessee. And maybe, I don't know, be a fishing guide or something. I love to fish. And, yeah, just get up when the heck I feel like it. Not with an alarm clock so you got this girl so anyway mine's that's mine to be a bum i guess <laughs> okay let's all right. see all right this one i wanted to know guys what, what is and this is not on yourself this is like other people, what do you find attractive? What is your favorite physical feature? Stay at home, mom. Eyes, eyes, eyes. So y'all are gonna make me the bad guy. I got it, okay. Eyes, right. white, good teeth. <laughs> teeth, smile, okay. I think it's my Okay, smile, oh, smile, cheat. What was the, what, the question is, what do you find like attractive, like on other people, like not on yourself, what is your oh. favorite feature you look for? Like, oh, seriously? Like what, what do you find attractive? Oh. Smile, really? eyes. And this is a physical feature. So like I like personality normally. But that's not a physical feature. Definitely smile, nice teeth, booties. Thank you. Okay, hands, hands. Is that because you're ch checking to see if they have big hands, Jeanette? You're not fooling us, girl. Perhaps. Oh, I got you, girl. <laughs> Jeanette, good one. Okay, so mine is arms and asses. I like nice arms and I like nice asses. If your ass is flat and your pants just fall right off, I just think you're a waste of time. <laughs> now, as a woman, love yourself no matter what, but as a man, you're a waste of time. <laughs> man, that's such an amazing smile. Yes. Right back, okay? And my biggest turn off is um, jacked up teeth. Like, what, what, y'all know Rudy Giuliani, right? Like, every time that man speaks, I just feel like, just looking at his teeth, I feel like he has the worst breath. Like, have y'all ever paid attention to his teeth? They just look like they've never seen floss a day in his life. I felt like. So. Yeah. So, arms and asses, that's mine. And they did good, right, babe? If he's still watching. Oh, okay, yeah, there he is. I did good when I picked you. Nice, okay. 
All right, let's see. What is your favorite? Okay, I, I wanted to ask this. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, your boyfriend's a thicky? That's nice. Like when I met my boyfriend, he would. How much did you weigh when we started dating? Damn shame. Too small. And now, how much do you weigh? Cause I like thickies too. Is what the point I'm making? Yep. You gotta feed them. Fatten them up. <laughs> so yeah, I took him from 145 to 220, girls. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. All right, here's a good question. What is your favorite thing about yourself that is not physical? Your heart. Oh, I love that. She can cook. Nature. I think I'm pretty funny. My compassion. Personality. Empathy. My love for animals. Okay, Vesha. We get it, girl. I can bake. My loyalty. My patience. Heart. Caring. Oh, I love these things. Loyalty, personality, have a lot of passion, empathy, good living, <laughs> my loyalty and how I don't judge at all, give people a chance to prove who they are. That's nice. I like that. You are very loyal at Ashley. Gets me in trouble, but I think I'm hilarious. I think I think being funny is a good trait to have. Um what is mine? I think I'm I think I'm loyal. That's mine for sure, but I I think I like that I don't take myself too serious. Oh, thank you. My boyfriend does not laugh at anything. Like for the for the longest I thought I was funny until we started dating and I was like he doesn't laugh at anything I say. <laughs> like, am I just corny or what? Maybe I am, but anyway, so when I when I started YouTube, people be like, You're so funny and I'm like, see, they think I'm funny. But yeah. Thank you. Guys suck, yeah. See that babe? You kinda suck. Just kidding. Love your personality. Thank you. I love your vulnerability. Thank you. You're fine. But yeah, I, I think for me, I like that I don't take myself too serious. Like, I can have, like, a terrible day or bad things happening at home. And I don't, I'm not one of those people that will, like, go to work and take it out on everybody. Or, you know what I mean? Like, or, like, something bad happens and I, I've always kind of learned to laugh it off. And, like, okay. Like, I have a lot of faith. So I know like even when bad things happen, it's God's will. So even if I don't understand it at the time or I feel terrible and I'm going through sickness or one thing after another after another, I still am like, okay, God just must really want me to learn something for, <laughs> from this. So I, I kind of just laugh because I, I know in the long run, there's something great that um, he has in store for me. So I, I think that that's what keeps me going. So if you're not like, you know, into faith or anything, <laughs> into anything like that, then I can see how people might have a hard time when bad things happen. But I've just kind of always been like that. I, I see a light at the end of the tunnel, even when something bad's happening. It's like, okay, great, this sucks, but I'll be all right. I just believe you'll ne you're never given more than you can handle, so. I kind of live by that. And I don't know where Vanna Red left. She left where she went. She left me, guys. And it's time for another giveaway. So I'm going to have to move and get my own stinking bag. So 
go ahead and start giving me a round of applause as I get my own freaking gift for you guys. Okay, I'm back. Are y'all ready? So this is gonna be the third gift of this kind before the grand finale gift. And I hope you guys are hanging in there. It's probably been a long live and you're like, oh, I wish she'd shut up. Okay, same rules apply. One to a hundred, I don't know what the number is. Whoever gets the closest without going over. If you guess the number first, it's your number. If you guess it after somebody guessed it first, pick a new number. And let's get going now. Thank you, Tia Marie. And remember, if you've already won, then this one's not for you. If you've already won, you can be in the grand finale, just not the small ones. Anastasia, are you still there? Do you know where Desiree is? Can you send Vanna Red back to the premises? Please send, please send Vanna back. She abandoned me. Okay. Okay, so once you guys pick your numbers, scroll back through the comments, make sure somebody didn't pick it before you, because I would hate for you not to win because you um, didn't see that. Did she write the name down of the number two? Hmm? What do you mean? I don't Shh. think she wrote it down. I gotta see if the person still there. The second one? It was yeah, but Carrie, oh, I forget what her last name was. Carrie Race. Okay. okay, Carrie, you won the second one, right? So if you won the first one or the second one, y'all can't participate in this one, only in the grand finale. Just to make sure, because I want it to be fair. Okay, so this one, your number won't count. Sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. I just want to give people a chance. Okay, so Manic Mama, somebody already picked 35. Oh, we got another Taylor. Okay. Did anybody pick 49? Oh, I know Taylor. You do? Yeah. That's the... Uh... Okay, I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds, and then I'm going to close the voting. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, no more guesses. All right. This is the number. So it's the number 70. Did anybody guess the number 70? Um, no, but Melinda Martinez got one under. And if nobody guessed the number 70, who was the closest? Melinda Martinez. 
Okay, so Melinda had 69. Let me see. I was only off by 63. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I felt so bad for you. <laughs> but I, but I, it's only because of the same thing happens to me. And that's why I said I always just kind of laugh at stuff like, of course, that's me. Isn't it ironic? It's closest with 69. Okay, round of applause, Melinda Martinez. Are you still there? Yay, Melinda. Melinda is the closest. Where's Melinda? There you are. You ready to see what you got? You see the theme for the smaller bag, so. Are you ready to see what your palette is, girl? Yes? Okay. So, again, all right, we got the face mask. And I hope when um, you guys, if y'all go back and watch any of my Mystery Mask Mondays or tomorrow's video, the winners, I hope you guys do a face mask with me as you watch the video. All right. I, oh, your lashes tried to get all wonky on me. That sucks. Those are my favorites, though. They're still, like, not open, but let me know if you want me to replace them. I will. Okay, and then we got these. And then this is your shade, ma'am. Very pretty. I try to get all shades that, all different shades, but all shades that I would like. Okay. And then, of course, you got your handy dandy mirror set. No need to replace them. Are you? I will. I don't mind because I'll I'll still use the lashes. Doesn't matter. Okay. Do y'all like these mirrors? Just tell me because I thought they were so freaking cute. Okay. Yeah, they're cute. Okay. Here's her palette, guys. This is my favorite part, I get all excited. All right. Of course, Juvia's place in the house. All right, so this is the Saharan by Juvia's. Open it up. Got your bubble wrap. I got y'all all different palettes, so you can feel extra special. Look at this one, guys. How pretty is that? Oh, I'm dropping your plastic sheet. Really, it's your, your first? Oh, I'm so glad I could be your first. It's pretty. What do you think of the colors? Is this out of your comfort zone? Like, am I gonna push the limits on you? Is that your comfort zone or is it's your first palette? It's beautiful, yeah. Oh, I love this. You guys, if y'all don't have Juvia's Place, don't sleep on it any longer. It's so pretty. I will pick up your plastic piece and put it back in as soon as I'm done here. I love that one. If she don't like it, give it to me. <laughs> I'm sure she'll like it. There's a shade in here for everybody. Okay. All right. So that was that guy. So how are we doing with the giveaway so far? Does this make y'all excited for the grand finale? <laughs> I know you were just talking about that last night. I'm sorry. Just be extra nice to your husband. And then maybe he'll forget the no buy thing. 
I don't own any of those palettes. I need to purchase them. Yeah. That's why, like, on Instagram, I'll, like, if y'all, I don't know if you guys follow me, but it's um, at Gina's Beauty Review. Oh, that reminds me. I have an announcement to make. No. No, you left me, daughter. Thank you. Hi, welcome. Everybody, let's welcome Desiree back to the to the live. Oh, hi, everybody. She's the worst. <laughs> I love you. I need my mom's I don't know why it throws us away. Thank you, Dawn. Okay, so on that note, Vaisha, the announcement I'm making, if y'all saw like in the title, I'm making an announcement. When I started YouTube, I gave myself a name because I was like, stop procrastinating with YouTube. You need to hurry up and get some video videos out. Try it. If you don't hurry up and do it, you'll never do it. So I did, but I never was like, oh, I really like the name. It just kind of was like, mm. and I'd ask different YouTubers, what do you think? Do you think my name is off-putting or what do y'all think? And so I finally came up with the name I want. So that's my announcement is I'm changing my name after tonight. <laughs> so if you're subscribed, it won't matter. It'll just flip to the new name and... I just want you to, I need you to figure out a name for my, okay, I hope you girl. Okay, so my new name, y'all might hate it, but you know, whatever, it's just me. Okay, so it's gonna be Gina in a bottle, like Jeannie in a bottle, but Gina in a bottle. Cause I just think Gina's beauty reviews is just like boring. Or this morning, yeah. So. That's what it's going to be. So I'm going to change it on YouTube. I've already checked. Nobody has it. Thank you, Jesus. So that's going to be my name on YouTube. And then once I figure out, because some people have it on Instagram. So it's probably going to be like Gina and a bottle 80 for the year I'm born. But anyways, once I figure out what it'll be on Instagram, I will tell you guys that on um, YouTube. You guys love it? Ah, thank you. Gina's beauty reviews is just too boring. Y'all know I like a little pizzazz. Love the new name. Awesome. Every time to look at my name, they think it's something perverted. Well, let them think what they want, kitty. Let the mind wander, I say. They spell their genie in a bottle. Yeah, well, mine will be Gina in a bottle. So, I mean, it's all good. I don't laugh out loud. Though. You could make a... Uh, okay. What? An intro and play that song in the background. I'm a Gina in a bottle, baby. <laughs> that would be so funny. Come, come on, come on in. Come on, you can look for a dress. Oh, goodness, we're um, back to this. Oh, okay. no, 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 I'm excited this time. She thinks this is her life. It's not. Gotta get the right. She totally should. What are we talking about? Do it, uh-huh, kitty. Love it. Hello? Yeah, mommy, did you want a piece of chicken or no? Does it? Or did you want pasta? These people are here for a giveaway. Why not? Pico's asking. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. They're where y'all are here for a giveaway. We don't have time for chicken. So you're gonna eat some pasta instead? Terrible. Mommy! Yeah, Alright, we're gonna do a few more questions and we're gonna do the big giveaway and I'm gonna let you lovely people get on with their lives and wish you a good one. Okay, so we did favorite physical feature. What is your favorite thing about yourself? Okay, here's a good question. Hey Taylor, again. <laughs> okay. If you could eat one type of food for the rest of your life and only that type of food, what would it be? Not like specifically, not like spaghetti or enchiladas, but like Mexican, Italian, Greek, whatever. Mexican pasta. I'm guessing it's Jamaican, Chinese, Mexican, Italian, Chinese, Italian, Italian. Or Mexican close call. Hawaiian pizza. <clears throat> Asian. Italian. 
Puerto Rican. Mm, some plantains. It's good Italian. Oh, I hate seafood. It looks delicious though. Like, I don't know why. Seafood looks so good to me, but the smell and the texture kills me. Asian, gotta have that pasta, yep. So mine, mine is, I would say, I would say Italian, probably because I wanna go to Italy too. I love like all types of pasta. My favorite pasta, like I can never find it anywhere. I have to actually make it homemade and that's spinach pasta where you actually eat the noodles that are green. I don't know if y'all have ever had that, but ugh, it's amazing. And I put like a butter and garlic sauce with it. But I hate that you can't find it. Like, I had to get my son to bed. It's okay, Alice. You're still gonna be in the finale. Ha ha, guac, oh, Italy, pasta and wine. Pasta, that's our second. We will go to Italy, yup. Uh, so at that time, it won't be the small YouTuber convention. Hopefully by then we'll be like the medium YouTuber convention. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, this one I think will be fun, we'll see. Okay, so I wanna know a random fact about yourself. Cause there's some interesting people in here, you never know what you're gonna find out. I play Sims 4, okay. I love the Glock so much. I graduated from modeling school. Nice. I have 14 pair of scenes. Whoa. Are they all, where are they at? Oh my God, I wish I still had this on. I make hemp jewelry. What else do you do with the hemp, Sharice? <laughs> I auditioned for Survivor. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I can draw anyone's face. Oh. Let me see. I love men's cologne. Yeah. Like, do you wear it yourself? Because there's like one men's cologne that I, I like for women as well. And it's, I think it's called Light Blue. My daughter wrote and published a book about when I was younger, living out of my care. That's interesting. I love playing Call of Duty. Nice, Missy. Like I said, I said, as long as it ain't no Tanacon, I'll be there. <laughs> they are everywhere. Oh, really? Everywhere, huh? Okay. Yeah, one of my daughters, yeah, same. I make sketches. Oh, that's nice. I cannot draw, guys, at all. I bowled for 23 years. Bowling is so fun. I don't know where Grandma went. I think she left us. I was born in Germany. That's nice. It must be military. Child of military people. Let me see. Car. <laughs> what, it, what are we talking about? Car. I lied on my driver's license, and I was, uh oh, and I was five foot three. Okay. Mom of three. My eyes are very light green, so sometimes, for some reason, they glow. That's cool, like a cat. I hate that these things keep going away. I can't touch my own feet without gloves. Oh, that's like a, like a fear, right? I think I've heard of that. I got a big butt, you go girl. If you got nice arms, you better watch out for me. <laughs> okay, I'm an extreme couponer. Lorena, I used to do that when I lived in Texas. In our garage, I had freaking, I think it was like Powerade, Gatorade lined up around the walls because I couponed. Then I moved to Florida and it was so hard to do it here. You're good at magic? That's awesome. I don't know if that counts. Okay. Sure it counts. Having a big butt, that's, okay, that's a good fact. You better be proud of that. I don't know if that counts. Everywhere. <laughs> She said, yep, everywhere. I am good at aggravating my mom. Oh, I, th I thought that was you, Desiree. No, that was somebody else. 
time. Okay, oh my god, yes. I figured if people could lie about how much they weigh, I could lie about my... True. Okay, well, yes, army. I'm clumsy. I love hip jewelry. I fall asleep by rubbing my foot across this sheet instead of my... I do too, Miranda! And I used to have to wear socks when I did it, but then I got over the sock thing. I was love to paint pictures in my house. Oh, there's there's Grandma. Yeah, she's great at painting. She actually painted a picture of me. She has a nice arm. Uh oh. <laughs> Better watch out. Nice arms and nice butt. My mom is cracking up at me. To save money. Okay, so I had I had a closet just for laundry detergent. <laughs> yes. But you save so much money. I love Mickey Mouse a lot. Yeah. Let's see. I hate having anything on my feet. So are you like a flip-flop person? Southern mom, I hate socks. Good thing y'all live in the South, right? Nikki, I'm the same way. I don't like socks or tennis shoes. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys two random facts about me. Okay. One of them, so as a, a youngster growing up, I was, I don't know if y'all can tell by my personality, but I was a little feisty. We'll call that. I was a feisty teenager. We're going to need to do some of that. Okay, so I was a feisty teen teenager and kind of, you know, partied a lot and did things I wasn't supposed to do. Skipped a lot of school, and yeah. So I was a freshman three times. So yeah, I'm not proud of it. I wasn't an idiot. I just would walk in the front door and walk out the back door, and I gave my mom all types of hell growing up. So that's one random fact. So freshman three times in high school, and then I had to like bust my butt once I got serious and um, basically do two years twice in a row. So freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. I came back to that one. And um, the school, before they'd even give me a chance to do that, they were like, we need to know you're serious this time. So they made me go get my GED. And then, before they would even let me attend the school to get my diploma, I, so I had to get the GED just to get the diploma. So, I not only was a freshman three times, but I also have a GED and a high school diploma. So, that's why I was saying earlier, one of you said, you want to go back to school and finish, and I said, it's never too late. It's not, because I screwed up during school, and like I said, I have my bachelor's now, and I did that about a year and a half ago. Yeah. I just, I had to go through what I had to go through. But it made me who I am. <laughs> it definitely made my mom. <laughs> Don't remind her. Uh, it definitely made my mom who she was. Thank God she only had one child. Because <laughs> I don't think she could have taken more of me. Um, all right, so that's one random fact. I'm going to give you two. The second one is... I um, actually was in the military. I don't talk about that in my videos because, I don't know, I just don't. But I was in the Air Force for 14 years, and that's pretty much that. I mean, thank you for what, confidence? So, yeah, I went from being, like, a bad kid to then I had to have a structured life for 14 years and so I don't know my life is weird thank you for your service oh you don't have to thank me for that <laughs> you don't have to thank me thank you guys you guys make my day I promise you like I don't have friends I don't hang out with anybody like my life consists of going to work coming home and 
my family. That's it. And so being on YouTube and talking to everybody, like, it just means the world to me. Y'all give me compliments. I give you compliments. And I just feel like I've made these friends through strangers. And, like, starting this channel, like, I, I would ask, like, acquaintances and people, like, hey, you know, would you subscribe? And people aren't as supportive as I thought they'd be. And I've gotten more support from the strangers that I meet online. And so I appreciate all of you for everything. So anyway, so that's my two random facts. I was bad and I went to the military. So I guess that makes me bad and a badass. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, I'm still gonna ask you questions through DMs. <laughs> no drama. Oh, you're so sweet. So do you guys think that I should do lives more often or no? I don't know. They're so terrifying. My sister was okay, but went into the Navy and it's completely different. That's awesome. Yeah. And so many people give up on bad kids and you know, you just gotta let them go through what they're gonna go through. Like some of y'all might have some bad kids at home and you got people by like, if I were you, I'd put them out. Like, best thing you could do for bad kids is pray for them and be there for them. So. Okay, here we go. Um, do you have any pets? So me, I have two Yorkies. No pets. <laughs> no pets. Really? None? Eight cats and two bunnies. Wow. That's interesting. Yes, my babies. Three cats. Oh, and I guess we have two rats now, but they are they haven't made their way home yet. Oscar and oh, yeah. I love her dogs. You all of y'all probably have seen um Southern Mom, but if you don't check her out. I forget which dog it is. Is it Oscar? Is it Oscar? Which one's my favorite? One of her dogs sings. So she'll say, sing to mommy. And the dog like goes chin straight up in the air and sings. And I'm in love with this dog, Oscar. Oh, I love, I love Oscar. Yes. And then the other dog is like a, I think it's a bulldog. And he just lays there and like snores the whole time during her lives. They're just so amazing. My dogs, if I let them out during videos or lives, like one of them is like really sweet and the other one is, she's not mean, she's just crazy. Like she will be sprinting back and forth, like jumping all over the place. She's a net case, so. Confidence dog snores too. Two dogs, both mutts and a black cat. Oh, my best cat ever was a black cat. I named him Snoop after like Snoop Doggy Dog. So he was Snoop Kitty Cat. He was the best. She does grow there's beeping. There's beeping. You hear beeping? Okay. All right. And then the last question, and then we're going to do the big giveaway is, what is your zodiac sign? Really? I don't hear beeping. Maybe it's her music. She's listening. She's got music and she puts it real loud. You could kind of hear that. Maybe that's what y'all are hearing. Okay, wait. Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Scorpio. My mom's a Scorpio. Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn. I hear beeping too. Taurus, Gemini, just beep. It's definitely beeping. Why don't I? I hear the beeping. Y'all, me feeling like I'm crazy now. I 
Oh, I just heard that. I think it's the microwave. Yeah, I think it's like the microwave telling me something's done. Okay, um, I'm a Virgo, so that's what I am. No, I think Desiree like had thought out some meat and it's telling her it's done. And she's sitting here with her headphones on. Uh -uh. Did you put something in the microwave? Mm -mm. So what is that that keeps clicking at the oven or something? Do you hear that? Yeah, but it just does that. Leo. Oh, Leos are loyal. And then my most compatible sign is a Capricorn. And my most incompatible sign is an Aquarius. And I've been in a 12-year relationship with an Aquarius, so go figure. So, anyway, yep, I'm a Virgo. So here we go. We're going to do the grand finale. Drum roll, please. Are you hearing the beeping, too? Wait, I thought I was making dinner. It's taking too long. She told me she wouldn't let me cook. Okay. Just bring me a loaded griller, please. The cheese and potato one. You want something So no drama. Guess what? I wanted to do the the finale, not a number. So you might be in luck, girl. And I want to. Now I'm hearing the freaking beeping, guys. Thanks a lot. See, you don't. <laughs> it's like the oven or something keeps. Oh, beeping. I hear it. Yeah, now you hear. Yeah, I didn't hear it at all. And now they're like, I hear beeping, I hear beeping. And I'm like, I don't hear beeping. Now it's going to drive me nuts. Thanks. Mommy, did anybody pick 70? Jalen, my son wants to know if anybody picked 70. No, they picked uh, 60. They picked one number close to your number. Okay. She would have been pink. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I probably would notice, too, if I was watching somebody. But I just... Now I feel like it's getting worse, right? The beep on your side goes right before my oven goes. I don't know how to turn it. I don't. Do you have two more? It might be a fire alarm or something, huh? Where's the other one? Oh, that's it? Yeah, guys, so this giveaway, if y'all don't like it, then you'll like it. Okay. All right. So this one is going to be a quiz. So we're not going to do a number. And should I show you guys like after somebody wins the same way, like the surprise? Say thumbs up if you want me to do it after somebody wins. After, same as me. Okay, I love the, I love surprises. Okay, so the first one to tell me the answer to my question wins the grand prize. Okay, and then I'm done with you. You can all just leave and say the hell with her. And never come back to my channel if you want. I hope you don't, but I hope you stay forever. What, well, babe? Jay wants to say hi. Hi. I'll snack though. You can have a snack, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And the question is, what do I say? Oh, and by the way, those that won, the first three, can now participate for the grand prize. So, just so you know. All right. So the question is, what is my catchphrase at the end of every video? First one to answer. You got it. All right, Mama Three, you got it. She got it. That was fast, girl. She was ready. I didn't tell anybody the question. I know. I'm going to send you something, oh drama. Because neither one of us ever win. We'll just gift each other something. You want to do that? <laughs> All right. Does everybody want to see what she gets? Well, I hope the numbers don't drop from like 34 to 2 now. At least, at least see what she gets. Because the next giveaway I'm going to do is when I hit 500 subscribers. So at least you'll have an idea of what kind of uh, giveaway I'm gonna do, okay? So here we go. All right, first of all, well, let me start with this. This is the giveaway box. 
and I can't even close it. Okay, so just to start with that, because I love these types of boxes, so I wanted to gift one. Okay. All right, so you're gonna get, again, my favorite lashes. You got a two pack of them. You're gonna get this pair as well. Girl, you just hold on, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, I got you this cute little pin. And he sticks his tongue out at you. I don't know if y'all can see that. But he's cute. Cute little pen. And that's going to go with the new journal. Because I want it, you know, like I was saying earlier, if you don't have something to write your notes down, it has the gold on the side. It's really cute. So it's to write down grocery lists, whatever. If you're going to do YouTube, write down your YouTube ideas. But... I love having something like this to put my thoughts down and I wanted somebody to have one as well. So you got your cute pen and your journal. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, Gina loves a good lip scrub. And I love mint and my dogs are outside fighting each other. Okay, I love mint. So this is the flavor mint truffle. Okay, let's see. All right, and then I'm just gonna grab stuff randomly. Okay, if you watched my um, mint mongoose video, I have only done one. So they gave me a set of jewelry and I actually really loved it. And like I said, I wasn't gonna give you anything I didn't like. So I loved it, but I wanted to share it because there's a stone in here that looks, see how it looks kind of like a light green? So I was born in August, so my stone is a peridot. So I wanted you to kind of have something to think of me. So it's a whole set. There's earrings. There's a bracelet and they all match. And here's the necklace. And if you guys want to see what it looks like, I'm not going to take your time and pull it all out, but go to my mint mongoose video. It's really cute. Okay. I couldn't let um, somebody win something and not get a face mask. So we've got our bubbling mask. Got you a nice lip mask. I got you a four-step mask, coffee and coconut oil mask, a hydrogen gold mask, and an under eye gold gel mask. If you notice the picture for my page, I wear like a um, makeup headband when I do my makeup. So I wanted to get you one, and this one's really cute. It's in a package though, but it has like a cute bow on it. It's polka dot. I thought this was adorable. So it's like a beauty blender, not the brand, but it's a beauty blender and then it's a holder to set yours in. So whenever you do your makeup, as you switch these out, you'll always have a holder. I have told y'all in my videos, I've mentioned it tonight, the one thing I cannot live without is my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This is $25 mascara, and I wanted whoever won my giveaway to be able to take one home and try it out for themselves. And I found a cute gift set that also came with, uh, what is this? Eye makeup remover. So I thought that was really cute. And this is the full size mascara. A 
Okay. We mentioned Nikki Tutorials earlier. She's a great YouTuber, has great makeup. I own this set. I got my daughter this set, and now I got you this set. So, um, Ofra Cosmetics has the best highlighters in the world and the best lippies. So this comes with, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's a highlighter that has about three different shades in it. And I wanted to make sure that there was a shade for every skin tone and this was the best one that could do it because I didn't want to disclude anybody. And there's three different shades of lippies in here. So you get to try out Ofra Cosmetics and this is the collab they did with Nikki Tutorial. So I hope you like that. And let's get into eyes, some eyeshadow. Okay. If you saw my makeup look yesterday, if you saw my videos, this is what I use. I bought an extra one for the giveaway. This is the NYX Off Tropic. I think this is adorable. I love these colors. So you're gonna be taking this home with you. I also love BH Cosmetics, and I wanted somebody to get a BH Cosmetics to try out. So let me take the plastic piece off. This one is called Royal Affair. And this is what the palette looks like. And of course, I had to give you a Juvia's Place, not just everybody else. So, I got you the Warrior palette. Because you won the giveaway. And this is a good neutral palette. That is stunning. Okay, and the very last thing that's in here is actually sealed shut, but I purchased two. One for me, one for you. So I can show you what it what mine looks like so you'll know what you're gonna get. Because I don't want to open yours. And that is this guy. So I got you a nice bath bomb set. So you're gonna get four, and you can see these are nice size, four nice size bath bombs. And it comes with two different scented candles and they're both soy wax and they smell amazing. So, amazing, they smell so good. So, that way you can lay back and pamper yourself and live your best life. And so, that's it, that's the giveaway. I hope you guys liked it and I hope that makes you guys want to stay subscribed and Hopefully you win the 500 and then the 1,000 and stick with me because I plan on growing. I'm not going anywhere. And like I said earlier, I hope you guys all supported each other because that's how I got here. I was going in people's lives and they supported me. So I thank you so much for getting me to 300 subscribers. If you won tonight, um, if you have Instagram, go to Gina's Beauty Reviews and DM me and we will discuss your address and all of that good info, info and I will be mailing your stuff out tomorrow. If you do not have Instagram, my email is justgina80 at gmail.com. So send me your info and we'll chit chat and the sooner you send it, the sooner I can get it mailed off and I'd like to do it all tomorrow so you can get your goodies and Love you guys, and I hope you had a great time. <laughs> and I can't wait to talk to you guys in some more videos and watch all of your videos. Thank you, Alice.
All right, love you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. It'll help me on your way out. Love you. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Janet. Y'all have a wonderful week. Try not to get stressed out at work or with the kids or school or whatever you got going on. Just stay faithful and just know God's going to get you through it. Bye, Lorena. I don't know how to say this. Anjali, Anjali, on yes. Bye, baby. I can't wait to see your next um, live. I love your lives. Bye, Melinda. Anjali? Anjali. I don't know. I'll, I'll learn it. <laughs> okay, Carrie, I just got the notification on Instagram, so that's good. Hi, Jamie. Oh, I said it right? Thank you. I wasn't sure. I, I hate butchering people's names. guys i'm gonna go ahead and sign off love you bye tina